Okay, so now we are going to look at what we call inclined plane experiments. If you see a big board like this, this is the inclined plane. See, inclined means what's inclined? Lying down la, uh, angle la, whatever. The board is lying down. And then normally they will give you something like this. What's this for? Is it to throw at my neighbor? No la, it's a brick. This one is actually to absorb the shock of this trolley rolling down. So you will shock absorb la because mm -hmm. maybe you release the trolley here. Yep. Okay, of course this trolley is a bit heavier. So this experiment will probably be very noisy because things are dropping. Mm -hmm. Fall down la, plane drop down, I don't know, all kinds of funny funny things can happen. But Let's take a look at what are some things you need to measure when you have an inclined plane involved. The very first thing is, got inclined plane means got angle, ma, you see here, sloping mm. up. So they'll probably ask you to measure an angle somewhere, somewhere. So you need to figure out how to measure angle of this part. Okay, the inclined angle. So how to measure? What you use? Ruler. Ruler can measure angle, cannot. Actually, you can, I can use tangent. Can, but okay, 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 use a protractor. If they give you protractor, use protractor. Okay, so if you look yeah. at this here, Ooh, yes, we took nice pictures for you already. So you can see now, you look at the picture number one on the left, picture number two on the right. Which one looks like something funny happening here? Number one or number two? You look at it, tell me now. You mean which one is correct? Which one is funny? Uh? Which one looks funny? Like something wrong. Okay, you're trying to measure the inclination angle, so that'll be. Something like this, okay, and the angle is here, theta. Uh -huh. So, oftentimes, with the projector, it depends on what projector you get for that. If it's something like this, that's the one in the picture, la. okay. So, you see this picture, what is this? There's a height here, but why the student put the projector here? A bit funny, la. I don't know why. Okay, if you're doing this, what is wrong with this, Miss Lee? You see this? You elevate what? your origin. Your origin is not here. You have to go all the way to the end of the board. So something like this. Mm. See the corner of the board? You put the round circle at the corner of the board and that is where your protractor is measuring yeah. from. So know that the protractor is not lying on the surface of your table or your bench. It's actually at, at, held against the side. Mm -hmm. So be careful uh, when you're having a protractor, you think about it. Uh, okay? But why 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 use a dot? Because everything is measured from here to here. To oh, near here, this angle from here to here. Ninety degree. Or oh, this angle from here to here. Mm -hmm. Okay, all crosses through that center, whatever. So whatever projector you use, please check. Also, Miss Lee, what is the what is the uncertainty for a projector measurement? Uh? Smallest reading, uh, can see the smallest reading. Uh. Smallest reading is what? Uh? Uh, can I see uh, zoom in a bit more. Uh, yeah, I can see the projector I'm holding. Sorry, my eyes are big. <laughs> It looks like maybe it's one, one. degree. Yep. So if they ask me the estimate uncertainty, I write one, is it or something more? In this case, you can we put one, I miss? It looks pretty accurate to me. Maybe put two degree to be Yeah, safe. because technically you don't really know where to put the zero point. You're just like aga aga. Mm -hmm. Whenever you aga aga or roughly roughly or simply anyhow, I think this works cross fingers, toes, just add your uncertainty. La. Okay. So, I guess, to call this a static measurement, maybe I will say plus minus 2 degree. Maybe to 5 degree, I will say okay. Mm -hmm. 5 degree a bit big already, but yeah. 2 degree is okay. So the 5 degree one normally is for something that is moving. Or you cannot like put it right against the object to yeah. measure. Maybe so you need to do some shadow projection. Like somewhere, the magnet one, remember the magnet one? Somewhere, okay, so anyway. So that's the first thing to measure. Oh, okay. Then what are the other tools? Okay, let's see. Hmm. What else could possibly come out in this kind of inclined plane? So, what are these for? Uh? Looks like we have a toy here today. You know the old inclined plane hall? This is new uh, by the way. It's new. It's it fresh. Right. And no one draw on this. If you look at the old inclined plane of MCQ, full of pencil marking, la, highlighter marking, la, correction tape. La. Why they mark uh, Miss Ellie? I also don't know. Oh, they are Bandit trying to... Because uh, they are trying to measure the start and the end of something moving, I guess. Yeah. Maybe? So now you have markers you can place at different different parts and slide it along the inclined plane so you can measure let's say the time taken for the trolley to travel from one point to another point using a what how to measure time take video i no 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 i mean technically 
think stock we are taking a video now. But. Ah, take a stopwatch. Okay, your good friend stopwatch. Nah, you can see stopwatch. Okay. Make sure you know how to read the stopwatch. Hopefully you do by now. You've done so many laps already. Okay, so I guess you need to start it once it passes the start point. Once it rolls all the way down here, you must start it now. So, mm -hmm. oh. so if they say release the trolley, it means that you cannot just start the trolley from here. Because release means where the motion start, the initial speed have to be zero. So you have to put the trolley, maybe I align the front part of the trolley to the marker. And then of course, I don't have a lab partner. So I should situate myself somewhere here. One hand I, hold I make watch. sure this one is uh, aligned. Okay, hold this. The other hand hold the stopwatch. And then I let go, I press at the same time. Right. Uh, what if your hand exert extra force on the trolley? Like, then uh, try, I mean, that one can write a limitation, but try your best to not do it. So you let go. So when it passes, you roughly, la, quite small, my uncertainty, GG. 1.4 seconds. Or 1.5 seconds. So if I say my uncertainty, my human reaction time is 0 0.2, maybe if I increase, increase it to 0 0.4, that's actually quite a high percentage. So in this kind of experiment, the slower the trolley can move within the experimental boundaries, the better it can. So if they say change the angle, you choose some smaller angles, you have a very nice reading. Yeah, like, and anyway, if they didn't set the angle for if they you. Didn't right? set, uh, okay. Okay. <clears throat> so the second type of experiment is the one where we use the Newton meter. Where's the Newton meter? Why is the Newton meter? Okay, Newton meter is the thing where you can hang your luggage and measure how heavy it is. <laughs> like, I don't know, anything. COVID-19, I mean, yeah. cannot travel. Okay, Newton meter. So let's take a look at the Newton meter first. This is a Newton meter right here. So it's a spring la. basically you extend the spring, your hook's law, and then you can have a certain measurement. So when you notice Newton meter, they will have both sides. You have an N and you have a G. So what is the N? What is the G? Uh? How to read which one? N is Newton la. okay, don't read the G. G is grams. Uh. Yes. Why they want to write grams there? I also don't know. To measure luggage. Ma. Right, ho. yeah. Ho. Okay, so we're gonna use when you see this, you are reading newtons, newtons, and this uh, spring thing will, I mean, this white color thing is the marker, and it will come down to somewhere here la. I will, oh, oh, so 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 slope, sloped. Get go 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 away go away. Okay, so maybe it come down to here. Mm. Then that's your reading. So maybe we want to measure something like the force needed to pull this trolley up the incline at constant speed. So we hang the thing here. Yeah, then we estimate our certainty later. So we hang it here because the trolley there's a place to hook it. Then I have to pull it up. Oh, it's so hard to pull. Oh, constant speed. Oh. This trolley is super heavy. Oh. It's the weight of your conscience on the trolley. Oh. Okay. So once you pull, you have some extension. And you need to estimate our certainty also if it's question 2. So this one looks like 1.2 Newton. Oh, sorry. Okay, no, la, roughly uh, 1.4. Mm. Okay. So if you look back at this diagram, what's the smallest, smallest, smallest scale on this newton meter? On the newton side, I look. One and then got how many lines? So each newton meter different. Now. Okay. Look and see. What is the smallest scale? Uh, the smallest between two lines on the Newton meters. Okay. There are five divisions between zero and one. Which means zero point two. Is it? So zero point two newton. Hmm. It's the smallest between right here and here. But you want to estimate uncertainty of your thing. Okay. This is where things you have to kind of think about experiment a bit. Hmm. If it's, I'm just hanging a luggage there, maybe I can say okay la plus minus static measurement if you're just hanging the thing like that. Then it's not moving uh, if it's stable. Uh. I mean this is heavier than one kg, so I can't imagine. Anyway, I can yeah. so I guess you could say 0 0.2, 0 0.4, I can put 0 0.4 la, to be safe. But if you are pulling it up and down and it's kind of bouncing, 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 then it's very hard to estimate. So you can estimate something larger. Maybe you go all the way up to 0 0.5, 0 0.6, yeah. if it's moving a lot. La. Yeah. Because they are pulling, they are pulling the, the yeah. something up. Because it's like pull gently until it begins to move. 
Because then you pull a bit, it doesn't move. You increase the force, then it begins to move. So it looks a lot like 1.2 or 1.4. It changes. So depending on experiment, it could be any of these ranges. It could be. And you normally paper two, this kind of reading, we repeat reading law. Huh? Very uncertain. Huh? Mm. Okay, so I think that's it about the income thing. Okay. Paper one, is there any inclined plane questions? Uh, we can change the distance between the spacing and measure the time. We can change the angle and measure the time. We can change the height and measure the time. We can always measure the time. Okay. So just keep in mind, stop just watch. Read the instructions. Uh, your projector just a very more straightforward one. Mm. Okay. And don't spoil anything. Please don't draw. Drop, 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 drop. Don't draw. Just don't draw like this. You drop maybe everyone look at you. Why oh, you make so much noise? Exam time. Yeah, then you stress because everyone looking at you. Anxiety plus ten thousand. <laughs> okay, so that's all for this inclined plane. Next video, next experiment.